Hello, seventh grade! Miss Hardiman here. So today we are going to be continuing looking at the art of Mary Blair. However, we are going to dive into a little bit of a different style of her artwork. She had two ways that she liked to paint. The first way is what we studied last week with hard lines and geometric shapes. What we're looking at this week is the way that she painted um, landscapes and she used this style a lot of the time when she was designing um, concept art for Disney movies. Now concept art is the art that is presented to the animators. So this art is given to the animators. They look at the world that you're kind of creating. They look at the design of what you're creating. It's like the preliminary sketch. And then they take that and they use it as inspiration for when they actually animate. So that was what Mary Blair was involved with. So that's why people would say that she kind of invented these worlds within Disney. She was the one designing and coming up with things like Cinderella, um, things like Alice in Wonderland and things like um, little cartoons that would play before movies back then. There are a few that she did. Um, I'm going to be posting a website that I shared with the students who logged on to my Zoom call last week where you can really see a lot of her work. It's actually run by her nieces and you can see almost every painting she did for concept art, for personal work, and you can really get to know her style. So I'm going to be talking through her style a little bit with two different pieces that I made. One piece I kind of mixed her, her more painterly style with her more geometric architectural style. And this one I'm more focused on the light painterly style of Mary Blair. So I'll talk about this one first. So this one, I kind of was inspired by some of her Cinderella concept art. So she designed some of the scenes for Cinderella. She came up with the concept for building the world of Cinderella. And so in my painting, I include some classic Mary Blair elements. So one thing that you can see that we'll start with is the fairy godmother's face. Mary Blair likes to paint this kind of face with black eyes, a little black nose, and a smile. Kind of just like a smiley face. They look really cute when you draw them like that. Um, and that's something that you'll see a lot in her painting. She doesn't try to make realistic faces. She wants the faces to look really adorable. Now, in the background, the way that I painted the mountains really reflects the style of Mary Blair. She really liked to take watercolor or acrylic brushes and go like this with the paintbrush to create wavy mountains or hills in the background. Um, and then you'll also see a lot of tangled vines and things of that nature in her work. Um, so that's something I included. I included a lot of blues, greens, and purples in this picture because that is very Mary Blair-esque. Um, the way that I went ahead and painted the horse is the way she will usually paint her horses. You can see the way I painted the tail and the ridges on the back of the horse's neck, that's a something from her style. Um, I also actually looked at the painting she did of the pumpkin and I basically tried to copy it to emulate her style right there in the center. Um, and then she also will include a lot of little magical touches like this. So I just went ahead and included these little dots to represent magic. When someone is doing magic in Mary Blair's work, a lot of times she will represent the magic by wispy lines or by sparkly dots like that. So the fairy godmother is casting this magic, turning the mice into horses and turning the pumpkin into a carriage. So that's what you can see happening in this picture. Um, and then I also, of course, included Cinderella. So I'm gonna post this picture so you can really take a look at it and see how I tried to emulate Mary Blair style. Now I created another picture based off of her work. Um, I created this a while back and this is more, um, uses some of the geometric elements from the last, from last week. You can see it in the background here in the circus tent. You can see it up here. Um, and then the lines are a little harder here. I use more light colors, but over here I use some more dark colors, bright colors. Um, so you can see again that the faces are using that same sort of style if you do want to include any people in your Mary Blair fantasy scape. Um, so these people, they have the little dots for eyes, the dot for a nose, and the smile like a, like a, like a kid's drawing basically. Um, now she actually drew her clowns like this, so I 
copied one of her clowns and changed up the colors. So you can see that right there. Um, she had a very specific way of drawing clowns, um, kind of as these blobs. Um, and same with animals. She didn't really draw animals to be atomically correct or really anything. She kind of was doing her own, um, if you watch a, if you watch a cartoon movie, you know sometimes people won't be exactly proportional, and that's kind of what Mary Blair did. She was creating characters that they don't have to look exactly like they looked in real life. Um, she's creating a fun fantasy world um, where something's going on. So you can think about what that something will be in your picture. I chose to do one that was a circus, um, and so you can go more for this style with using brighter colors and harder lines. Or you can go more for this kind of style with the lighter colors, um, wispier lines, you know, more painterly. It's up to you. Um, I would prefer that you color it in um, either with like colored pencils, marker, um, paint and watercolor works great if you are going for this lighter, wispier style. Um, it's really great. I actually mixed acrylics and watercolors together. Um, so I kind of sketched out and colored pencil where I wanted things to go. Then I did watercolor, let it dry, and then I went back in with acrylic to get my details. Um, and I actually, I didn't like this that much when it was wet, but when it dried, it looked a lot better. Um, so think about what kind of scene you might want to do. You can choose your favorite Disney movie and do your favorite scene from it. Um, Mary Blair does a lot of Disney stuff so that would be great especially if you could think of one that she doesn't have any art about that would be really cool to see your take on how you make that movie fit into the Mary Blair style or if you want to go for something like a circus you could do something like people out at a restaurant people out at the movies people out playing mini golf people at the beach think of like an activity so those are kind of the two things you should choose between um, but the most important part is that you follow the rubric to make it match Mary Blair's style. Um, I'll be having office hours this week and we'll be going through some slides about Mary Blair, talking things out, any questions you have. So make sure that you stop by so that we can check in with each other. Can't wait to see your results and I hope you have a great week. Bye!